In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Microsoft 365 group with the Teams in Power Platform applications. Now, Microsoft 365, as you all know, it is basically, uh, it allows you to choose set of people that you wish to collaborate with. Now, it is used for basic sharing of resources. Uh, permissions can be shared. Share, we have the shared Outlook inbox, shared calendar, document library. So there are many applications which touch bases and uses Microsoft 365 group. Now you can add members to the group. You can assign them roles. A uh, group can have an owner. Now there are multiple places to create Microsoft 365 group. Now I've just listed very few of them, but there are many applications which allow you to create a group, which I'm going to demonstrate that as well. Now Microsoft 365 Admin Center, uh, Azure Portal, SharePoint Admin Center, Teams Admin Center, and then there are many other places whereby you can create a Microsoft 365 group. Now, this is the interface through which you can currently create a group. So on the left, you see Microsoft Azure, uh, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, SharePoint Admin Center, and Teams. So all has a different interface, all has a different purpose depending on the application usage. Uh, and it, it asks for different fields like uh, name, description, team owners, uh, privacy for that group if it's a Teams. Uh, and then there are many other uh, parameters which gets asked while provisioning the group. Now, Microsoft 365 group can be linked with a Power Platform Teams. Now, why would you do that? Now, in Power Platform, say if you build a model driven app or if you build a Canvas app, now if you want to share an application with different set of people uh, instead of manually assigning permission you can assign permission through groups now the concept within power platform is there is something called as teams so if you have multiple set of people we can collate that group of people and then put it in one team now teams is a concept of power platform now think about it like if your organization is already using SharePoint or if your organization is already using Microsoft Azure and if you've already created a group within your Active Directory of Microsoft Enter ID, then you can utilize that for assigning permissions in Power Platform. Now, as you see over here, when you create a new team in Power Platform, you need to specify the team name, description, business unit, specify the administrator, and select the team type as Microsoft Enter ID Office Group because this is a group. So this is basically a Microsoft group, and thereby you select that. And then from that interface onwards, it will prompt you to uh, select the group name which has already been created, provided it is connected to your Azure Active Directory. Now let's jump into the demo and show you the use case. So first I'll talk about groups. Now here uh, I've logged into portal.azure.com. Now here I have various set of groups created. Now the groups are either created because I have created some applications instance or I have just manually created a group. So in portal.azure.com, if you want to create a group, you just click on new group and then it will ask you to select the type. I will select Microsoft 365 group and then I can specify the group name, group email address, group description and other parameters. So I can create a group in Microsoft 365, uh, Microsoft Azure. Now, if you navigate to Microsoft 365 admin center, you can navigate to teams and group. And then we can go into active teams and group. And here you can add a Microsoft 365 group. Now, again, the interface is a bit different than uh, Azure, as you see over here. Uh, here you will ask for name, description. So let me put some name over here, description. And then if I click on next, it will ask for owners. Then, then I need to assign an owner from here. And then I can specify um, members. Uh, and then there are some settings regards to group email address and privacy, right? So this is an, another way to create a group, Microsoft 365 group. Then in SharePoint Admin Center, what happens is like, whenever you go ahead and go into active sites and create a site, a group get created in the backend. So I've already created a site called as say Finland. So if I just search for a uh, site called as Finland, it has already created a group called as Finland. So if you want to see what group was created, so you can go back to uh, Microsoft Azure and then start looking for Finland and then you will be able to find the 
uh, specific group, right? So any SharePoint site you create, it will create a corresponding group. Similarly, if I go into Teams Admin Center and click on Manage Teams, okay, and then from here I can click on Add, and then I can add a new team, which in turn will create uh, a Microsoft 365 group. So name, description, team owners. So again, the interface is different. Uh, similarly, earlier, what used to happen when you used to create a planner plan, a group used to get created. But now, if you click on new plan, if I click on new blank plan, it is asking me to put a plan title and then I can attach that plan to a specific group. Okay, so again, I can uh, connect this plan to say Finland, uh, Microsoft 365 group, right? Then in Outlook, now if we go into Outlook, there is uh, something called as groups over here. So in Outlook, you will be navigated to mails directly, but then if you select here groups, then you will take it to group. And then from here, if I click on new group, I can create a new group, and then this will create a Microsoft 365 group. So, so there are multiple touch points through which you can create a group, okay? But now I have already, I already have a group created, right? So I have a group uh, already created. Now, how do I utilize that group? So in order to utilize that group in Power Platform, what you need to do is you need to go into Power Platform Admin Center. So I'm, I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. I'll go into the environments and then I'll go into a specific environment. So I'll click on settings and under settings, under user permissions, I'll click on teams. Okay. Now, if you create a team, so create team, if I create a team and then I'll put my team name, description, business unit, administrator, and if I select the team type as owner or access, now this is specific to Power Platform. If I select Microsoft Enter ID Office Group, then this is related to Microsoft 365 Group, okay? So what happens when you create this team, say if I create a team called as say, uh, Europe and I put some description over here okay so let me put Europe team now here you're not actually creating a team you're creating a team but then you're creating a team in power platform and then you're linking a specific office 365 group okay so if I select a business unit over here put my administrator name and if I select team type as Microsoft enter ID office group then it will ask you which group within Microsoft 365 do you want to link? Now, I have a lot of groups already created, right? I mentioned to you, I have Finland, I have, I believe, Sweden as well. So I have a whole bunch of group created, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the Power Platform Admin Center over here, and here I'll type in Finland. The moment I type in and if it is connected, uh, it is connected to Azure Active Directory, the right tenant, then it will ask me to select that group. So I can select Finland or maybe I can select Sweden or maybe any other Microsoft 365 group. Okay, So let me select Sweden over here and then membership type. I just need to specify members and guests, members, owners, guests. I'll just select members and guests and I'll click on next. The moment I click on next, it will ask me to assign a security role because for a team, you need to have a security role assigned. So let me select a security role as say hospital role. Okay. And I'll click on save. So what I've done, I have created a team called as Europe. So we'll just type in the team name is Europe and here I can. <clears throat> see that it's a Microsoft Enter ID Office group. If I click on Edit Team, then it is not allowing me to now change the group name. So once the group name is selected, it is selected. You cannot change that or membership type, right? So you cannot change that. You can change administrator. You can change the team name description. That's fine, but you cannot do any other changes. Similarly, if you want to see Manage Team Members, now if you want to add a member to this team, it will uh, give you this interface, but then it will tell you users from the security group will show up here after they have logged into the environment at least once. So in this environment, in this particular Teams, uh, I have myself added because I'm the owner, but there's no one else. No, but how do I add? Okay, you cannot add the group users directly. Okay, now in order to add that, what you need to do, 
you need to either go into portal.ashu.com or go into any other interface okay now like microsoft 365 admin center so let's let me go into azure and then from here let me see first which uh, which group i have connected so if i go to edit team i'll see that i'm connected to sweden group so in here if i type, go to sweden if i go into sweden group then from here i can add members okay so in your active directory you might have already created microsoft 365 group you can utilize that same group to assign permissions now here i'm going to assign <coughs> this permission to adele okay now i will not do it now okay let me show you what i'm trying to achieve over here okay so i have a simple application uh, over here named as hospitals in australia and then i have opened this this is a simple application and now i want this application to be shared with adele okay so let me go to adele login as adele and now i'll just type in the url now once i type in the url for adele the application is not yet shared let's see what comes up so it will ask me to log in as adele i've logged in as adele and it is loading the app but then uh, it might hit a roadblock because adele does not have a specific permission then, then i need to request access for it right so i'll just keep this aside okay now let's go into portal.azure.com assign adele the permission okay so adele has been uh, added into into this particular group sweden group now if we go to power platform admin center over here go into the power platform admin center and then let me show you the members over here manage team members now as you see over here i have added adele in this group and if i refresh it i will still not see why because it says users from the security group will show up here only after they have logged into the environment at least to once okay now you need to what you need to do is like you need to log in as adele and then log into that application and then adele name will be shown over here but in order to do that first we need to share the application right so how do you share an application so you go into this application you click on share and then this application window will pop up so here we need to type in either grant permission uh, to adele over here okay or let's see if i can use uh, the group which i have created okay so as you see over here it is not allowing me to add like if if you like sort by name or sort by user type whoever has been granted permission you will see the list over here but then this app is not allowing me to create that user group but what i'm going to do i will i can assign this particular application to uh, say adele okay now here while sharing for model driven app it is asking for name email address or you just specify everyone but how do i now assign this to a specific team okay so for that now adel already has a permission uh, if you grant through say teams europe okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to first show you how how we can do that in model driven app so let me go into the model driven app and then and then directly grant access to adele okay so i'm just granting access to adele and then i'll say uh, adele to be say the co-owner okay let's assume for this particular application i click on share so i'm not using teams i'm just directly granting adele an access just to show you that uh, here adele needs to be logged into this environment at least once to for her name to appear over here so we have shared this application with adele now let me go back and again hit the url now as you see over here adele is now able to access the application because now we have directly granted uh, adele access to this model driven application right now here if you again go back to power platform admin center and now if i click on refresh now you see adele's name has popped up right now as adele's name has popped up what you can do is like uh, you know that the user belongs to that particular group or teams and then you can grant access to specific resources within power platform 
Now, again, I can add other user over here. I will just go over here and I'll select Alex. I'll select Alex's name. Alex will be added into this group. Now, again, the same logic. When you go into the Power Platform Teams, if you refresh it, you will not see Alex's name because the condition is users from the security group will show up here only after they have logged into the environment at least once. Okay, so there are multiple ways through which you can grant permission. Now we have seen from a model driven app perspective, we are not able to see the group or the team's name, right? Similarly, if you go pick up any Canvas app, so if I select a Canvas app, say so let me select this app and I click on share. Now here as well, you can see add people as users and co-owners for your app. So that means I can type in a name. I can type in email address of the person or I just type in everyone. OK, now without that, I will not be able to uh, like I cannot directly give uh, the group name as Europe over here and then this will appear uh, in the application. Now, if you want to grant a model driven app, permission and based on the team set or based on the security role, uh, what you may need to do is like you need to go into, say, the security role. Say if you navigate to the teams and then if you navigate to the teams, then within the teams, you need to find out the team which you have just created or if you have already created that Europe. Click on manage security role and then from here on basis of the security role. Now we have already given a hospital role. OK, and because of that, uh, say if I add a if I if a user say take, for example, Alex. Now, Alex is already part of that particular uh, or Alex. If Alex has that security role assigned to him directly or indirectly, then Alex will be able to access it. OK, so this is how you basically do that uh, role assignment. But the whole purpose of this exercise was to show you different ways of creating group. And second is you create a group within or create a team within Power Platform and then assign or basically link the Microsoft 365 group and then use it to share permission with different application. Now the uh, the username which you create basically in any of the application the members are not directly visible within Power Platform, and then it takes uh, uh, a user to first log in or initialize that login process, and then once that user is logged in for the first time, then that user will be seen in the team section. So that's it, folks. This is all about integration of Microsoft 365 Group with Power Platform Teams. Thanks for watching.